Carol. Um, <laughs> and this is Claire. We and just... we figured out just now that we've known each other since winter time, 12, 13. Yeah, so 10 years we've yes. known each other. And what it was, was you were a photographer and you had a studio and then you said that I love taking photographs outdoors. Yeah, and yeah. so, and I had worn like a spring coat, not a winter coat. So it's freezing. Oh yeah. And oh. we're walking around devices. We, we live in devices. And we're walking around devices and you kept taking photographs of us and they all of them just we just both because it was with my husband and we but it just brought us the light. You oh, know, it was really amazing. good. Yeah. Being outside is really cool. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so whoever's watching this, you're getting a taste of what it's like to practice and be a part of it. And we're drinking and we're drinking ginger root ginger like grated up so much so that i just breathed a bit in and choked right didn't i and lemon just lemon too so i was Ooh. thinking carol i haven't you're not kidding me it looks <laughs> like it's like i'm sorry may i put that on top there right that's a little bit of ginger that's nothing gross okay uh, <laughs> um, so i i i have an idea right so we're going to talk about all about beauty aren't we mm -hmm. but I have an idea. What do you think about our video, like, like collection being like called something like beauty and wellness? Okay, wellness sure. And beauty, because I think the two just go so well together, don't they? Yeah. We were talking about this a minute ago, weren't we? But if you're into one, you get into the other. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And you this start is... to figure out yeah. that when you're happy, you photograph better. You yeah. Know, things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's wellness. When you're well, I mean. I've actually looked at pictures of myself and like, God, I look disgusting. And I knew that I was on the way to this illness. So. Yeah. Yeah. And um, funny enough, I um, I wrote a poem. Can I read it to you? Yeah, let's I'll hear it. I'll yeah, grab yeah, it yeah. off the table. When did you write that? I wrote this on the 6th of November. I happened to see the date. So I just wrote it down from Facebook where I shared it on my um, life coaching um, group. So it's called Wellness is Beauty. Wellness is beauty, glowing skin, healthy hair, it comes from within. Throw out the shampoo and expensive gloop. Swap the junk food for homemade soup. You are what you eat, mind, body and soul. Eat clean and drink water, go from process to whole. Reverse your ageing, feel younger than ever. Take a break, get out in the weather. Back to nature for some spiritual healing. Connect with your body. See how it's feeling. Cleanse and reset a little fresh start, a brand new energy and an open heart. Oh, that's oh. wonderful. <laughs> so, yeah, so. There was so much good about that. What I loved was uh, take a break and get out in the weather mm. and get back to nature mm. because I never did that in London. Ah, of course. But, you know, you quick nip into a park and you think, tick, I've been in nature. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but sometimes you need, like, a bit more of a prolonged time to really get into it and feel it, don't you? Like, to just settle into it. Because when you dip into it, it's like you're just sort of doing it because you should. Right. But, like, on holiday, we just come back from holiday and we were there for a week. And honestly, it was about the third or fourth day that I just felt my stress melt away. It, I just literally felt it, but it took three or four days for my stress levels to just oh, right. just let it all go. So I think we need these longer periods of rest and recuperation, don't we? Oh yeah, when I lived in London, I was drawn, particularly like September, October, I was drawn into Hyde Park, so Kensington Gardens, and I would stand under a tree and I and I would and the leaves at that point are getting a little dry, and so when they rub together, they go shh, 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 shh. Oh. and I would just stand there and revel in that noise, wow. that that shh, 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 which was the natural noise, completing blobbing out all the London noise and all your brain noise. Yeah, what yeah. a great sound! That's amazing. Yeah, that was that's amazing that you found that. I was drawn to that because I'm a city girl and I don't go into parks and. And then I would just be drawn and yeah. have to go into the middle of the park and stand under a tree. Wow. No, no, there's been. How much water do you drink a day? So I've got a bit of a thing about water at the moment. Well, not a thing about it, but I'm trying to drink more, but also I'm very careful about 
filtering my water. Okay. Because of the fluoride in our tap water is particularly troublesome for the thyroid. So it prevents the body converting T T3 to T4 and it's supposed to inhibit the absorption of iodine, which is also, you know, essential for the, a healthy thyroid. Yeah. And I think that fluoride, I've read a bit about it, um, sort of being a bit of a spiritual blocker as well. Mm. So I really want to make sure, yeah, that I am. Um, I've heard that it's really bad for your gut microbe, and we're uh, absolutely, it's absolutely vital to have the 30 or 40 feet or whatever it is of guts as healthy as possible because they're taking the nutrient out of what you eat. Yeah. And fluoride thins it out and, you know. Yeah. So how do you so filter good. your water? Where's the filter? So I've, this filter here, shall I just quickly show yes, the camera? Please. So I have the zero water filter. Okay. It's called and it's it's got a little water tester so you can test how many toxins are in the water. Okay. And get it down to zero. But my friend Tanya, she's got this really cool thing with, um, mineral stones in and that's the next level that i want to go to and explore because i think i'm taking a lot out of the water obviously to make it pure right but then sometimes it's good to put the minerals back in so then you've got mineral water so um stay tuned so that one how do you know it's taking the fluoride out well it's it promises it um because it's called zero water i did quite a lot of research into all of them because the cheaper ones i can't remember what they're called the ones that are quite well known apparently uh, they, Britta. yeah apparently yeah, yeah. they don't take but i don't you know that's just what i've read they don't necessarily take out the fluoride so this one's supposed to and because it's got this little tester mm. so i tested bottled water with the tester and there was still like high numbers on here mm. but yeah like i said i definitely want to explore other ways of doing this so okay, we can work I've, on comments i've got an american berkey filter it's absolutely used it does gallons and gallons and once you get it going technically the filters last for up to five years right, and yeah. yeah and it's, it sits on your counter it's huge yeah. it's like a big you know the big coffee rooms you see at parties is, and things? Yeah. It's as big as that, huge, and it's got four different filters, two charcoal and two white ones, which are for arsenic and stuff like that. And I've had it maybe two years, can't get it going. I've watched YouTube videos on how to do it, and it is a nightmare. So so I hope you've inspired me to go home and give my my Berkey one more go. They're, oh, famous, yeah, yeah. they're famous for being hard to set up. Oh right, okay. And that's bonkers. Yeah, try it. Try it. Okay. okay, so um, should we end there and then Well right, yeah, so this was gonna be so I just wanna say mm. stay tuned for what I did. You're not gonna believe what I did after writing this poem. You'll be like Oh wow. Right? Okay, that'll be so, good. Yeah, it's a crazy journey that I'm on and I literally feel like a human guinea pig right now. So please stay tuned and I'll see you very soon. Bye. Cheers. <laughs>